Mobile administration, just like CX Mobile Services, is installed just like Web Phone Manager. And again, we did this when we put in Web Phone Manager for the first time. We just simply copied Mobile Admin over here um, to the Web Phone Manager because, like I said earlier, this is our default root directory uh, for this website. Now, to make this a little bit easier, you can put this under a different um, a different folder, different website. I kept it here because it's it's really easier to do it all this way. Um, what I did though is I did rename mobile space admin to mobile admin, and you'll see there's another mobile admin uh, folder under here. So it's going to make the URL to go to mobile administration pretty wonky. Uh, so you can do this a number of different ways, um, but I'm doing it the easiest way to start. So just like we had with our uh, CXMS and Web Phone Manager, we have a couple directories, uh, config, logs, and temp that we need to change our permissions on just like we did before. And this is basically allowing the, the, the users or the internet user to um, work, with the, um, work with this application. And again, like CX Mobile, you can create different web users to be the anonymous user if you don't want to use just the regular one here. And we'll go do this with all of our folders. Okay, so we're pretty much set here. Um, there, unlike the other two web services, there is no configuration utility here. Uh, you have to do it the old school way by going to the XML editor, and it is in config defaults. So you basically copy this, paste it, rename it as config.xml, just like the other two web services, and then edit it to put in your information. So um, give it a server display name. And the host name, you can put in the IP address of the system server. Now, just like in any of those, any of the other web services, you're going to have to manage, you're going to have to manage the connectivity through your firewall um, if this is exposed to the outside world. Um, use HTTPS, I'll just say, keep it as default. And um, we don't need any logging for the time being. So you just simply press save. And we should be able to browse right to um, our mobile admin. So what you'll see, and let me format this so it would look more like a mobile browser because you'd be using this on your tablet or your smartphone. So you log in. And you can see uh, server name and then you have some stuff that you can do. You can go to the mailboxes here. Uh, if I want to go to mine, I can modify my names, um, unlock it if it's locked out, force the security code reset, reset the security codes, and toggle the message waiting lights. If I wanted to um, change uh, overrides for this, um, I could say specific locations, um, and I could set them or clear them. This works the same way as we saw in the... Um, in the original administration course. It's it's just another easier way to be able to do a few administrative tasks um, without having to log in through a VPN or log into the client. Uh, it's just right there to use on the web.